We got this tonight in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. I want to thank Father John for allowing me to be with you here tonight. My name is Father Tim Ty, and I thank you. Uh, I thank you for allowing me to be here with you. We put ourselves in God's presence, and we ask His merciful forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. And bring each one of us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God, God the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We, we praise you and we bless you. We adore you and we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, all God, mighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, the only God, Son. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of God. You take away the sins of the world, have that mercy on us. You take, take away the sins of the world, receive you our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have that mercy on us. You alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Show your faith, O Father, to your people, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace in your people, that may firm in hope, faith, and charity, they may be able to watch from keeping your commandments. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. with inexpressible groanings, 
and the one who searches hearts knows what is the intention of the Spirit, because he intercedes for the Holy Ones according to God's will. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. realized 
how do you control slaves? And he found out that they took the wheat and they put a lot of leaven in it, like Jesus is talking about today. The leaven is a corruption process, and it breaks the wheat down and blows up. And if you put a lot of uh, leaven in it, after a while you've got very light uh, uh, wheat, but it has no nutrition. It's easy to chew, it's easy to swallow, it's easy to digest, but there's no nutrition. So Moses learned that Pharaoh's sons had control over the Hebrew slaves by giving them wheat with a lot of leaven in it, so they would always be wheat, so they would be mild and body, so they wouldn't be bell, so they'd be fighting with each other. And then when Moses got them in the wilderness, the first thing he said to them is, we will no longer put leaven in our wheat. We will be now a strong and powerful people because we have a journey to make and we got to grow up. We cannot have God forgiving us and handling us as he did slavery because we had no choice and weren't fed. We're going to eat unleavened bread. Unleavened bread, in case you don't know, is hard to chew. It's hard to swallow. And it's hard to digest. And Moses gave it to the people just before he revealed the Ten Commandments. You are now going to become a disciplined people. We have a difficult journey to make. And we will make that journey because we will give up what breaks us down, what corrupts us, what makes us weak. And we will be a strong people, a new people, renewed by this new food. And so then Jesus took the same leavened, unleavened bread at the last supper. And he says, now I raise it up to a higher standard. You, your forefathers marched from Egypt to the promised land. Now we are going to march to eternal life. And this food symbolizes the cross. This is a food that is hard to chew, hard to swallow, hard to digest, but it brings you to eternal life. And you want something that you makes you feel like you earn eternal life. And it's loving through the hardships and the difficulties of life. The hardships and the difficulties that tend to break you down and corrupt you. And now God wants you to take this food. And Jesus took what Moses fed the people and he feeds it to us. And because over the centuries, we had to feed uh, so many sick people with our teeth and everything else, the, the leavened bread became softer and softer. But it was intended to symbolize difficult bread to chew, to swallow and digest. And living the cross of Jesus Christ is hard to chew on. It's hard to swallow and it's hard to digest. But it makes you exceptional, saintly, powerful, wonderful people. And you, you are the people who want this bread. You came here tonight. You are the special people that get to this church to be part of God's special people who make the journey through the difficulties of life to spread God's love. So as we gather here tonight, we want to remind ourselves that we don't want to be handled by forgiveness. Forgiveness is wonderful. Forgiveness is all we all need. It's one of the emphasis of our religion. But you know and I know it's been overdone. It gets the sense that you get the sense in the church that there's no sin anymore. You get the sense that there's no need for confession anymore because everybody is free of sin. And it shows, it shows in our relationships, it shows in our families that we don't have to take on hardships of love. There's nothing more difficult in the world than to love one another. It's painful, it's difficult, because all of us are difficult. <laughs> I can't help what I have to say. My mother always used to say to me, you're a lovable pain and you hate double cute. <laughs> she loved me, but I wasn't easy to take. You know, <laughs> and that, that's all of us. I'm thinking of everybody as that. And to be forgiving and loving with one another is very difficult. 
In our society, we want to be pampered. We want to be let out of difficult situations rather than saying, this is what I'm all about. I am one of those people that Jesus anointed to take on difficult situations. But I didn't care with God. But mainly, I need God's strength to do what I know I can do and want to do. And I want to be a strong, loving person. And I want to be a heroic person. When I stand before God, I say, I carry my cross, Lord. I ask you to welcome me into your kingdom. So tonight, it's a very honorable and privilege to be with you as we come together with the state and once again celebrate that God sent his son into the world. Not only that he would be there, but he would be on this altar every night, every Sunday, and every day of the week. And it's for those people who want to be special. It's for those people who want to be the road. It's for those people who you are, the special people of God, who spread love no matter how difficult and dip uh, stressful it is. Amen? So I thank you for allowing me to be here because I think you are the special people and I'm proud to be with you. Please stand. Do you believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, His own Son, our Lord, who was born of Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried, and rose again on the third day? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. This is our faith. This is our wondrous faith. If you are proud to receive the body and blood of Christ here on the altar, respond by saying, Amen. Amen. Let us now bring our prayers of gratitude and petition that God has called us to be His special people. Almighty Father, in your mercy and justice come together. Despite our every weakness, you know the fullness of your love by providing for our daily needs. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Help us to detach from the constant noise of our society and find a silent stillness where your Holy Spirit can speak to our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Keep us mindful of our family members, neighbors, and people in our community who remain isolated due to the ongoing pandemic. May we reach out to them with encouragement, compassion, and love. We pray to the Lord. Protect all people whose mental and emotional health has been affected by the stresses associated with the current medical, social, and economic crisis. Grant them courage to seek the help and support they need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Bless and protect all healthcare workers, first responders, essential industry employees, and those returning to the workplace. Keep us safe in returning to normal activity, mindful of the continuing health needs of our families, friends, and neighbors at risk. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the people of the parish and Anthony to deal, we pray to the Lord. For the ill, especially those who continue to be infected with coronavirus, those caring for them, and for the deceased, especially those who have succumbed to the virus, we pray to the Lord. Please add your own intentions to the quiet of your heart. We pray to the Lord. We make these in all our prayers for Jesus Christ our Lord. Say amen.
treasures hidden in human hands in vain, it will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, which we have goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. With humble spirits and contrite hearts, may we, with all our efforts and struggles, be joined to this perfect sacrifice of your Son, and rise up to you, O Lord, with a pleasing fragrance. Wash me, O Lord, from my sins. Cleanse me from all my enemies. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice may become acceptable to God the Almighty Father. And the Lord accept the sacrifice and the praise for the praise of the Lord and His name, for our good and the good of all of us in the church. Let us pray. Father, in this one perfect sacrifice brought to completion, varied offerings of the law, accept we pray the sacrifice for the faithful servants. And make it whole, as you bless the gifts of faith, so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. If it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks to Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and God. For you laid the foundations of the world, and you have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed us in your own image, and set us over the whole world in all its wonder, to rule in your name over all you have made, and forever praise you in the mighty works through Jesus Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim you.
the mystery of our faith.
May the blood of Christ keep me safe and eternal life. Please know that the rubber sale schedule for next weekend has been canceled. Check the website, email, and upcoming bulletins for information on faith information opportunities, including interactive online Bible study and a video program on the meaning of Vatican II in contemporary church. Watch our parish website for further updates on the parish liturgical, office hours, events. Please stand. Behold, I stand in the door and knock, says the Lord. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door to me, I will enter his house and dine with him and he with me. Let us pray. Graciously be present to the people we pray, O Father, and lead those who have been viewed with heavenly mysteries to pass from formal ways to newness of life through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. May God's love and power and grace fill you with His joy, fill you with His life, that you may live heroically and bravely the love He calls us to live in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by His life.